A draft of a U.S. Supreme Court opinion that would overturn the constitutional right to abortion sent shockwaves through the nation, not only because of the contents, but because it was leaked. Politico on Monday night published a draft majority opinion it obtained that would, if it stands, strike down the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade, a ruling that was not expected for at least another month. Chief Justice John Roberts on Tuesday called the leak a betrayal and vowed to find out who did it. In the draft decision, five conservative justices voted to overturn Roe. It wasn't clear how Roberts would vote. It could have major effects on the camaraderie of the Supreme Court. Eric Siegel is a professor at Georgia State University College of Law. He says the leaker could have many motives. Justices do change their minds. A possible motive for this leak is to stop one of the five justices who are going to sign this opinion from signing this opinion. That's rank speculation. I, I want to be clear. Um, but but it's, you know, it's possible. In a statement Tuesday, Chief Justice Roberts said if the leak, quote, intended to undermine the integrity of our operations, it will not succeed. The work of the court will not be affected in any way. But in the wake of this stunning disclosure, experts did predict chaos inside the court, whose longstanding tradition of confidentiality and trust surrounding its deliberations helps lend the institution an air of removal from the more political branches of government. Professor Siegel said the biggest implication of Monday's news is, of course, not the leak. He says the decision itself will harm the credibility of the court. I know of no Supreme Court case in history where there was a long, drawn-out battle to overturn a case over, over decades, instigated by the U.S. government, the federal government. The court rejected that effort, explained why it was rejecting the effort to overturn Roe very clearly, and now we're overturning that explanation. That's serious stuff. And as I've said publicly many times, if Ch this is a quote from retired Judge Richard Posner, but it tells everybody everything you need to know. If changing justices changes law, do we even know what law is? And that's what happened here.